right, so what we're doing today, we're going to go ahead um, and put a game onto our Xbox. Now, what you want to do, uh, go ahead and get your game. Now, I did download this. Um, number one, I do have the game. I went to open it and uh, rip it to my Xbox and notice there's a huge crack down the center of it. And I'm pretty ticked off about it, but I'm glad that I found a copy. It appears to be good. So, um, we'll go ahead and get started. So, what you want to do first, you know, get your ISO file. You cannot just, you know, drag and drop it into your Xbox, or let me rephrase that, FTP it into your Xbox just like that. It doesn't read plain ISO files. So, we'll go ahead and open up CXbox tool. Now, Actually, uh, exit out of that real quick. I didn't want to drag and drop that in there just yet. All right. Now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and go to ISO Extraction. Because like I said, the Xbox does not read plain regular ISO files. Or, let me rephrase that, images I should say. So go ahead, check it, and then click Start. Now I'm going to click Cancel right away because here is my Fusion Frenzy folder. So, go ahead and abort. I already have it right there. So that's what you guys should be seeing. Well, depending on the game, um, some games are a lot different, but it doesn't matter. Just extract it, have the folder, open up your Flash client or your FTP client. I'm using Flash FXP. Quick connect. Now I have mine saved in the history. If you guys want to figure out how to set this up, watch my um, FTP into the Xbox video it will explain it all into detail all the way down to changing the IPv4 settings for static IP to you know, FTP here so 192.168.0.2 I recommend setting it like I had in the video because if you follow exactly as I'm doing there's no possible way you're gonna mess up unless of course you downloaded a bad file or something you know transferring it you might mess up there but getting into FTP and everything should be no problem. So 192.168.0.2, port 21. Username is Xbox, password is Xbox. Go ahead and connect. And so here we are. Now, um, in the last video, I believe I talked about, or yeah, I believe I talked about uh, when I was ripping the disk to my Xbox uh, about deleting the games folder in the ePartition if you look it is not here I did delete it that way it would automatically send it to the F partition I wouldn't accidentally put it on the E partition and use up all my space uh, you know for save games and then maybe I want to add a couple emulators on there a couple more apps because I've got about four gigabytes free so anyways we want to go ahead um, if you have not done this already like I said you know go into your E partition delete the games folder um, and then go into the partition that has the most space. Now I'm assuming that you have already upgraded your hard drive. If you have not, you know, forget everything I just said about deleting that game folder. This is if basically if you have a bigger hard drive. So my partition is the F partition. The F partition had about eight, uh, 80 gigabytes free when I started. It now has 29 point or you know 29,975.77 megabytes. So I have a little bit, just a little over 29 gigabytes free. So here's what I have. And here's what I want to do. So if you're using this Flash client, or I mean <laughs> this FTP client, Flash FXP, just drag and drop it either down here into the queue or straight over. I'm just going to drop it into the queue, press play. Well, transfer, but play button. Whatever. 
should be transferred pretty quick. It says it's got about, that's got to be for one file. happen to be watching your screen you can watch um, watch your free space just drop seconds left in the queue. Now I don't know, yeah, I think, I honestly think my original Xbox has got to be my favorite console. Just because uh, Xbox Media Center is so awesome. It is, it's plain awesome. As of right now, I'm actually, uh, I'm basically just modding this to sell it. I have a guy that I sold my soft modded PS2, I sold it to him, and uh, then he saw that I had an Xbox, and he's like, oh, I want that, and then he saw that I had a modded Wii, and he's like, I want that too, so, oh, I hope he enjoys them, because I know that I did. Say that like I'm getting rid of my personal one, which I'm not. <laughs> no way. All right. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop it on this end and uh, start it up on the other. So, uh, same thing is going to apply. Go down and check out our games. No Fusion Frenzy. So, we go back. Let me actually, uh, I'm going to have to reboot this. So, let me take the disk out of the uh, drive up there. Close the drive. And we'll go ahead, reboot. sucks. I didn't even realize it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Wow. Gotta be up at like 5.45. Yeah. So, we'll go up and we'll check out games real quick. Oh, look at that. Fusion Frenzy. Loading. Please wait. I don't wanna... There you have it, guys. As you can tell, worked. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video because I'm going to do as the screen says. And I'm going to press start to play because I can't even tell you the last time I played this game. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, if you like the video, go ahead, you know, hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, there should be more on the way. Thanks for watching, guys.